All right. Okay. So, uh, hey, everybody. Uh, this is K Rock here, so I'm get, trying to get used to this uh, turn on my camera. Um, are you getting me on there good, man? Oh. Okay, good. Forgot your Coca Cola there. <laughs> he sure needs his caffeine to keep himself up. All right. Uh, well, Coach, uh, how you doing? Doing well, and you? I'm doing good. You know, a little nervous. Right. This is the first interview on here, so... Uh, oh, man, I'm your first, huh? Yeah, so technically, uh, it's called Lunch with Ledyard, but um, I'm not Ledyard, so maybe we should say this is a dessert with Gay Rock or Klein, or I guess, so I don't know. Yeah, we got to find something that rhymes with that. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it's a Coffee little... Coffee with little Kenneth. All right. <laughs> um, that's, that could be work, so... Uh, <laughs> Anyways, Coach, uh, but fortunately, I did come prepared with some questions, so we don't have to chat about some boring I, stuff, because I, I know people, be prepared. Uh, people want to talk about your tennis career. Oh, let me get in here, so just so people on Facebook Live can see me. Okay, uh, before we talk about tennis, Coach, um, I'm kind of having a little bit of a problem myself. I don't know why, but for some reason, like, I'm kind of in that final countdown stage of the, another year for me as well, as it gets close to, you know, that point in your life now i needed to find somebody to un explain the uh the situation so i figured well since you are the official oldest coach in etb right now thanks for and pointing you're that the, out uh, new burt west any advice on how to deal with getting older uh, well um you know get your rest eat right exercise uh take your vitamins stay hydrated um you know, all the good things that the doctors tell you, you know. <laughs> okay, well, I guess uh, I'll make some notes of that. I, I think we'll figure that out, so but thanks for that. There you go. Genetics helps also. <laughs> Have good genetics. <laughs> right. Hopefully the genes pay off for me in the big end. But, okay, so um, it's been a long time since, uh, well, actually, you've had your last home match against Millsaps and Austin College. Uh, why don't we start off with against Millsaps? Um a good win for the girls. Obviously, they came away with a six-three win. Why don't you talk to us about that? Okay. Yeah, it was a good win. They were ranked top fifteenth in in the region. Um, it was a couple of weeks ago, so I'm having to look at our score sheets here. I saw uh, we we got up two-one on the on the doubles, which that's a big advantage when you get the lead in the doubles. Uh, we we lost three doubles in a close match. Uh, the the singles was quite a bit uh, tighter. We lost in three sets at number two girls singles. Number one girls singles, uh, we beat Ashley Ford, who's uh, was a top twenty uh, supers player from Texas. Uh, we beat her six two six three with Kate, so that was a very good win. Um, they lost in a very close match in three sets with Tiffany at the three singles, and then we we had another loss uh, for our third loss. Uh, in three sets with Kelly at five singles, 13-11 uh, in the super tiebreaker. So those were the only three losses that we had. Uh, otherwise, we, we were just real close to an 8-1 win or a 9-0 win in, in the girls. So that was that was pretty uh, that was pretty tough, you know, in the in the girls um, went uh, on the girls match there against Millsap. The boys they were they were just equally tough on the on the boys. Uh, you know, had, had quite a few international players. Uh, their number one boys doubles. They were ranked top ten in the in the nation, but we played them real tight on the on the boys. It was uh, eight four. You know, at one point we had the lead on, on the boys. Um, uh, John Hur had a great day. He and Cody won eight two at number two boys doubles, and then uh, John uh, did the same thing in singles. Won at number four boys singles six two six four. Uh, uh, Joseph had a real close match, lost in a tiebreaker. Uh, Rollin had a real close match, lost four and five. So. So we had a lot of real uh, tight matches. Connor had a great match, uh, two and four. So, so uh, you know, we we had some uh, matches that we were very pleased with, considering we have such a young team uh, against Millsap. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened with Facebook Live. Uh, seems to have gone out, but oh, I guess, well, oh, okay. You know, we'll just uh, keep going ahead with this program right here. But anyway, um, so as far as um, the other match, you also took on Austin College. Uh, it was a result of a big win. Uh, for the women's side as well. Why don't you recap both sides for Austin College? Okay, yeah, we uh, we were really uh, we were not anticipating such a big win on the women. They had just beaten uh, UT Dallas 5-4 the weekend before, and uh, we know how strong UT Dallas is. They'd won the ITA in the women's singles and doubles, and many people were picking them to win conference. And uh, we went out there, same thing, and just kind of got them in a stranglehold in the doubles, won all three uh, girls' doubles matches, and that sort of set the tone for the rest of the day. 
uh, and then just you know got got some quick wins in the singles matches. Uh, we won number one singles two and zero, oh, and got us a, a quick win there. Tiffany had a very good win at two singles. Uh, um, seven six six four against a young lady that uh, beat UT Dallas as number two player, and that UT Dallas uh, player had a win against Kayla Casey last year. So that was a huge win for Tiffany. Um, and then we won just straight straight on down the line, one and one, four and four, one and two, and then uh, I think Jabri two and four. So uh, ended up getting a sweep, and s uh, sweeps are just very very hard to to uh, come by against anyone, uh, and much less against somebody as good as Austin College. Um, on the men's side, it, it, um, we, we just had some really tight matches there. We almost took a two-to-one lead. We lost eight-three at one. We went down to a tiebreaker at number two with John and Cody, who had won the day before. We ended up uh, getting a big win at three. Um, well, I had just thrown Joseph and Ty um, together at three boys doubles for the first time. Um, it just on a gut feeling, and, and they got a big win for us. Uh, at 8-5 uh, there at, at the number three boys doubles. So if, if we'd won that tiebreaker, we would actually had a 2-1 lead in the doubles. I think the singles would have come out a lot, a lot differently if we'd had the lead. It's just so hard when you don't have the momentum because we um, – Connor had the lead the entire match in the singles before he ended up losing it in a super tiebreaker. Uh, Cody lost 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Andrew lost 3-6, uh, and six, ended up losing that second set tiebreaker after having the lead. Uh, John Hur lost 2-4. and four. Joseph – um, he just had a great day after winning his doubles match. He ended up winning his singles match in a super tiebreaker. So, um, you know, we, 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 we had a lot of close singles matches and then actually got a couple good wins there. So it was uh, – ended up, in, you know, being, being a pretty good match for us, even though maybe the score didn't uh, indicate it, you know, with a 7-2 with a loss there. Now, in the process of that, you also um, you managed to pick up some award or an award at least. Uh, one of your players, Elisa Kendo, uh, was named Player of the Week for the ASC last week. She went four and zero in both her singles and doubles matches. So, uh, talk about that achievement and how well she has really been contributive to you, towards your team. Yeah, I mean it's it's our third week in a row for us on the on the women's side to get that award, and and so that's a really big deal. Lisa has stepped up and it's just been huge for us this year. Um, you know we've been, we've been looking for somebody to fill in at that three spot. We feel like Kate and Tiffany they're they're just as good as anybody really in the in the state of Texas in, in Division three, if not in the country. And, and we've been looking for somebody to fill in that three and four spot because there's some awfully strong players uh, in there, and for her to come in at that three position uh, as a freshman do what she's done and at number two doubles that doubles is even more difficult as a freshman because the, there's just the there's just so much that goes into the doubles is has been a bit very big pickup for us for her to be able to to come in and do that and just had some big big wins for us um, this this last weekend I think she lost maybe a total of three games in the singles and uh, I don't think she lost uh, you know very many more in in the, in the doubles and then uh I think the uh, the girl that she uh, that she beat uh, in Millsap went up against UT Tyler and uh, had to bump up and play number two against UT Tyler and and uh, Lisa had better scores against her than what UT Tyler had so she she has really stepped up her game and has just been uh, a wonderful addition to the to the team. Now last week uh, nothing much you had a week off and we know that you're not really a coach that likes to concentrate on tennis especially during weeks off although occasionally if there was a good tennis match on you might pop in and watch and watch it on tv but what did you uh do last week just uh on the week off oh boy just went back to granbury and and uh you know gave the team a chance to heal and get well we had uh, singles challenge matches la last week so they beat up on some of our best competitions against ourselves so we gave them a chance to get well went back home saw some friends had a cookout and then uh and then had a lot of fun. We uh, got, went on a, a rat hunt. We had some uh, rats that got into our dryer at home, so I got to try to disassemble my dryer and try to, to get to the bottom of that uh, rat nest. So, uh, so I, I couldn't I couldn't quite finish the job. So, so my neighbors uh, working on that for me right now. So, <laughs> so some uh, really good fun there. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> maybe if uh, maybe possibility you can help uh, clear out the baseball press box because we've had some uh, Asian. Beetle invasions, I guess you could call that. I mean, you probably saw that on the baseball highlight film. There were some little critters storming around on the windows there. So we're uh, maybe you can call them to see if they can fix that as well. But you, I mean, 
I, I remember my freshman year, I had a little bit of rat trouble uh, my first apartment um, at, at the old place that's not there anymore. But uh, I, I did set mousetraps, but ended up last time I actually caught one. So, um, but yeah, so <laughs> fortunately you ha- were able to get your rat troubles. So. Yeah, yeah. I've researched every every trap there is. So uh, <laughs> so anyway, that's what I got to do in my free weekend. Yeah. Not, 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 so. Probably not my first choice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, final question. Um you got two more home matches this weekend. Uh, you're taking on Shriner and Concordia uh, at home this weekend. So uh, any scouting reports on what they bring to the table, or are you just more along the lines of, well, we just need to come together and just you know play our best and expect a good match? Well, I, I know they've got two uh, improving women's team. Uh, their number one women at Sh- uh, woman at Shriner was ranked top ten in the ITA. The, the Shriner men's team is just one of the best in the, in the region. We beat them two years ago. Pulled off an upset. We'd love to do that again. Last year, we sort of pulled off the upset against Concordia on the men's side, and it turned around our season. And then we beat them again the first round of uh, conference. And then uh, that, that's when we jumped on, jumped on UT Dallas after that and had the lead on them, almost pulled off the upset against UT Dallas. So, uh, so uh, you know, we're, we're hoping to get our first win this weekend on the, on the men's side and uh, maybe do the same thing, t- start turning around the season and – you know that's all we need for some of these freshmen to get some get that get that confidence and get that first taste of a victory. But uh, but they're they're uh, they're pretty strong on both sides uh, this weekend. Yeah, and obviously uh, when you look at the men's team, they're they're a pretty young team. I mean, last year you only had one senior, um, and then this year you have some returns, but you also have some new faces. Uh, how is it bolting well for those guys? Even though the the losses are mounting up, but they seem to be playing as hard as competitive as every game. Yeah, I mean, they're in every game, and we probably couldn't have had a, a more difficult schedule to the start of the season. But, uh, you know, with only three returners playing right now, the, the rest is a freshman lineup. I mean, you know, the, the important thing is just for them not to get down on themselves, and they, they don't seem to be. They, they, they seem to know that they've been in every match, and we've been very close several times to having that two-to-one lead in the doubles. And, and once you get that lead in the doubles, that, that, that singles will fall into place uh, for them, and they, they know that. And it's just, it's just a matter of us getting, the, getting that first win and uh, more than anything being ready for conference when the matches really count against uh, Letourneau and Ozarks and, and the Louisiana Colleges and UT Tylers. All right. Well, Coach, uh, thanks very much no, for joining hey, me. Thank um, you, Kenneth. You next did a great week, job. Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah. Maybe sometime I might take over a hosting duties for Adam one time. Well, I, I, I think so. I, I need to give Dr. Blackburn a call and well, you know recommend we'll, that. I'll, well, I'll let we'll Adam see. know. I mean, he needs. He sometimes needs to break off. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, Coach. No, take care. Hey, thank you. So.